Yo, what's good? In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a simple key card item pickup so that when you pick it up and approach your door, it'll open. I go to my key card, it displays the text, press the key to pick it up, it goes away, we see the print string showing us our key card count, plus the door here will open if I have picked up the card. First things first, if you don't care to watch this and just want to download it and use it, or maybe you want to follow along, click the link in the bio and it'll take you to download it from Telegram. My Dropbox is completely full and I ain't paying a dime for more storage and on telegram I could upload an unlimited amount of things so yeah head there make an account download the app on your desktop from there anytime you click a link for telegram it'll take you there to download the files super quick okay I'm feeling lazy so I'm just gonna quickly go over each thing as if you were to do it by yourself and then I'll explain in more detail about my version if you were to download it okay some things we need to set up first Open your project settings and add an action mapping for interact and set whatever key you want. Then in your character blueprint on get interact input action, create a boolean named interact pressed. Set it to true when pressed, false when released. Then create a key card integer variable, compile and save. First, I made a key card actor blueprint, right click, blueprint class, actor. Then you want to add a static mesh component, sphere collision and a widget. I don't remember if widgets are visible by default, but I had to uncheck visible, so it's not. For the static mesh, I went to the engine content, grabbed these cool looking cubes, and used them. The green one is for the key card, and I just scaled it like this. For the widget, make a new widget blueprint, center it, and add the text that says interact. Go back to the key card, click on the widget, change space to screen, and class to interact. Now head to the event graph and I'll explain what's going on. Event begin play, I have a function that sets up references. Inside I'm getting a player character, casting the third person, and setting it as player reference. After reference do set actor tick enabled, leave it as self, and make sure enabled is false. Next on sphere overlap, you set these events up by right clicking on the sphere collision, add event, and on and end overlap. I'm checking if overlapped actor is the player reference. If so, set the widget and tick to true. On end overlap, I'm doing the exact same thing, but I'm ticking false. Lastly, I have the event tick checking for the interact button being pressed. However, it's only going to tick when we're overlapping the key card. If we're not overlapping, the tick turns off. This is great for performance because you want to use the event tick as minimal as possible. Then, do once. And you can see here we're referencing our player and add integer one and out of reference set key cards. Then plug the plus into the key card variable. And after we have play sound 2D print string that checks for the player's key card amount and destroy actor. So this alone is how you can set up a key card pickup item that will destroy the key card item and add it to your player's inventory. From there, you would be able to set up the variables for the door to check to see if you satisfy its card requirement and if so it can open again this project is available to download and it will include the door blueprint which I've actually redesigned so quickly clicking on it you can see that I've set up the variables to be instance editable with sounds and colors and opening the blueprint I've actually cleaned it up a lot to be honest I have no idea why I included so much other stuff before but now it's much cleaner and easier to customize for your own projects one other thing if you use my interact widget I've actually bound the text input key to reflect whatever key binding you set in the project settings so if I head there and change it to T the widget automatically changes again your input action mapping has to say interact if it doesn't then the binding isn't gonna match you'll probably not even use this in a final product but it was something I learned how to do and I wanted to highlight it anyway I didn't bother putting everything into folders just so you can kind of see everything here all at once anyway thanks so much for watching I'll see you all later bye